The account of the Santiago Flight 513 is truly one of the most mysterious and mind-bending encounters on record. One where a plane took off from Germany in 1954, disappeared and was presumed crashed, before reappearing again over the skies of Brazil some 35 years later and performing a perfect, standard landing. The Bermuda Triangle, is a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. It was first found on the seas, but later, rumors and stories about the Bermuda Triangle resulted in it being in the airspace, people were being teleported from one place to another, thousands of miles in a second without any explanation. Pilots from all over claim to have gone through this, and the sheer fear and panic it caused. Recently, a newspaper reporter, Owen Fisher, discovered a deeply covered secret, the mysterious appearance of Santiago Flight 513. According to the Brazilian authorities, this was baptized as the longest flight of all time, and became headlines, only to be mysteriously covered. Flight 513 took off on September 4, 1954, and disappeared somewhere on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, something that over the years, most flights have disappeared or teleported around this area. It was then known, at that point in time, that the plane crashed and, everyone in it lost their lives, the plane allegedly reappeared again, 35 years later, landing on the airport. The air control tower had no contact with the plane. He disembarked on October 12, 1989. When they were found, the security and support of the airports were shocked to discover the 88 passengers and four crew members in their seats. But they were all skeletons. The authorities refused to comment. When the security forces gained access to the plane, the reason for the lack of communication was immediately clear. Responding that the mystery was only opened to a deeper and much more relevant. The first responders found the horrible vision of 92 skeletons sitting in their seats. The skeleton of Miguel Victor Curry, the captain, still had the controls and the engines were still running, something that can only be achieved with the plane safely on the ground. Chelso Otello, a paranormal investigator, said that Flight 513, almost certainly entered into a deformation of time, there is no other explanation. The government has been the main suspect. Brazilian government officials did investigate the circumstances of the flight, but they flatly refused to draw conclusions or aspects of the investigation as a whole. The aviation officials only confirmed that the plane appeared out of nowhere and landed safely. The debate over what happened took on a new perspective when the perceived secret behind the investigation angered many, including Dr. Atello. Investigators made numerous calls to the government and asked them to allow civilians to help in the ongoing investigation. Other academics and dignitaries rushed to the car and insisted that the public had the right to know what was happening. They felt that the government had a duty to take care to clean up and reveal what they knew. Retired physics professor Rodrigo de Mania believed that it was a crime against science to retain known information, no matter what it was. He said if this plane entered a time tunnel and there is evidence to prove it, everyone should be informed. Something like this could change the way we view our world and all to science as we know it.